Hi everyone, this is Conzel here. So, today I want to bring you guys a Kokomi Crit Rate Build Freeze Com Showcase. Because it has now been confirmed in game that after she has been released, that her crit rate is a flat minus 100% crit rate. Which means if you get enough crit rate, you are able to crit. Okay, so what I have here is 8.8% crit rate just from equipment without certain conditions fulfilled. I'll talk about those later. We have crit damage 135.5%. This is not a bad crit damage, by the way. I mean, for most people who focus fully on crit rate to overcome that 100% crit rate, they may not necessarily get this high of a crit damage. But you might think that 8.8% crit rate is very low. Oh yes, it is very low. But we are using a 4-piece Blizzard Strayer set, which gives us 40% crit rate on Frozen mobs. Cryo Resonance gives us, gives us another 15% crit rate. And we show the Cryo Resonance. Okay, increases crit rate against opponents that are frozen or affected by cryo by 15%. So that's 55% crit rate right there. 55 plus 8.8%, we already have 63.8%, which is more than the usual type of crit rate that I, I usually go for. On top of that, we are going to build Rosara here in the comp. Because I no longer need Diona, we have Kokomi who heals. So you don't need Diona anymore in the freeze comp. And this is where Rosara comes in and she provides 15% of her crit rate to the whole team for 10 seconds. My Rosara has 70% crit rate. So that 70% crit rate is gonna give me about 10.5% crit rate. So what this means is Kokomi is going to have about 74.3% crit rate. So 74.3% crit rate with 135.5% crit damage, Kokomi. I'm pretty sure this is one of the highest crit rate crit damage build that you'll find out there in YouTube. So let us do a quick showcase and see whether it's really worth going for. Is it worth building a crit rate Kokomi? Oh, and by the way, weapon, obviously we have to use a weapon with crit rate substat. So, Lost Prayer. I don't have an R1 Lost Prayer to test with, but uh, between R1 and R5, the crit rate is the same. And the other option would be the Solar Pearl, which is not exactly F2P, it's from the Battle Pass. And another option will be the Royal Grimo. I think it's called Grimo, I'm not quite sure what they call it. So, the Royal Grimo is the series from the. Shop. Unfortunately, we don't have it now. It's Blackleaf. The Royal, Ser Royal Series is from the shop. It's the weapon that gradually increases your crit until you land a crit. That's effectively what it does. Okay, so with that being said, I've already covered the options for weapons. I've covered the artifacts. I've not shown the artifact stats. Before I forget, let me just show the constellations. I'm at C0. Talent is 666. Okay, C0666. These are my artifact stats. I can tell you they are pretty much min-maxed. This is not an F2P build. This is just a showcase to see how a crit rate, uh, crit build Kokomi can be achieved. Okay, and by the way, I did not specially farm for these artifacts. These are all artifacts that I have either lying, or lying around or currently being used by other characters. So, first flower here. One row went wrong, one row went to flat defense, the rest all into crit rate. This feather, one row went to crit rate, the rest all into crit damage. This HP sense was something that my uh, Hu Tao was using previously. I only very, 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 sorry, very recently managed to get upgrade for her. So, she's no longer using this. And one Upgrade went wrong, one upgrade went into EM, the rest into crit rate. This is a hydro damage onset blizzard straight card that I managed to I had this for the longest time. Uh the crit rate is there's crit rate, there's crit damage, there's energy judge, there's HP percentage. So it pretty much fits all the stats that we want here for Kokomi. Although we don't have like high crit rate on this. 
As for this helmet, this is pretty much godlike. It is a godlike piece of helmet with all rolls into crit damage. This was something that my Ganyu was using previously. So I switched it over to Tsukomi uh, because my Ganyu can afford to use this as a crit rate helmet. She loses a bit of crit damage, but it's fine. So this is my Kokomi artifacts. These are really pretty much perfect artifacts. I'm pretty lucky that I happen to have all these artifacts lying around. That's workable and usable in order for me to do this crit rate build for you guys. Alright. So remember, Constellation C0, talent 666, triple 6. Investment level on her is not that high. Crit rate will be about 74.3%. Against a frozen enemy and with everything else thrown in. Obviously I can't use Hu Tao to give crit rate because this is a freeze comp. There's no there's no there's no place for her. Okay, now the reason why I'm a flower is because Joe Bishop Joe Bishop throwed me. I kept getting hydro Joe Bishop. Okay, I'm just gonna buy it then. Okay, the flower died before, I can do anything, but I want to showcase the crit rate that we have here. Ah, okay, so it's 21.1% here, and we're going to add 55%. So I made a slight mistake on the on the crit rate amount, so add on 55% here, we will get 76%, okay? 76.1% crit rate, with 135.5% crit damage. Ah, I realized what's the what's the reason why there's slightly more crit rate than uh, what I previously calculated. This 76.1% crit rate versus the earlier 74.3% crit rate. The difference is because of this effect here, where when Rosara strikes an opening from behind, she gets a 12% increased crit rate. So the 76.1% was based on a 82% crit rate. Because I get 12% on top of 70. Right? Yeah, there you go. This is the reason why. Because against most mobs, some of the bigger mobs, she's not going to move from behind. She's not going to move to strike the opponent from behind. So you get slightly lesser crit rate, 74.3 versus 76.1%. But either way, we now have 76.1%. Uh, it's fine, I'll go to Spiral Abyss to showcase her damage. I just wanted to show what is her crit rate stat with the Rosara buff. That was my main purpose of the initial video, or at least this portion of it. So you see here that this comb, uh, because my gun use damage is very high, so the Killer Flower died before that. Okay, anyway, let me go to Spiral Abyss. Okay, so now we are in Floor 12, Chamber 1. This is the same freeze comb, as that same setup, as that same artifacts, etc. Okay, there's a lot of damage figures, but essentially, we are dealing about 9k to 10k damage. This is the good thing about Freeze Comp. Everything is ready and spammable again. Okay, it's a bit overkill, I know, but yeah, that's how the damage was looking like on Floor 12 Chamber 1. We were able to clear it fast, but mainly because my Gan Yu is also very stacked. My Rosara isn't doing too bad as well in terms of damage. So, this is how a crit rebuild will look like. A Yomi, oh sorry, a Kokomi crit rebuild is how it looks like. Now, you guys can decide for yourself if the damage is what you're looking for in terms of the crit that we saw just now. About 9k to 10k, and charge attack was like 12k. But those were when we crit. Although our crit rate was quite high, it was at 76.1% with everything included against frozen mobs. And in Spiral Abyss, it's not difficult to maintain that. So there is a merit to using the Kokomi crit rate build. 
But there's a huge caveat here, which is that you need a crit rate subset weapon. And the only crit rate subset catalysts are all... Okay, the one from shop is not exactly pay to win per se. Although you still need to do some pulls in order to get the Star Glitter Dust to buy it, the Royal Grimoires. Solar Pearl that's definitely has to be paid because you have to buy the Butter Pass in order to get it. Okay, and Lost Prayer, I don't even need to say, right? That's you, that's the first time weapon. You gotta be lucky. You're either lucky with it or you manage to get it through uh, Wheeling. Alright, now oh, artifacts, like I mentioned, these are very, very godlike artifacts. I've already shown them. It's really godlike. Yeah, I, I also don't know why I have these artifacts lying around, but it is what it is. Ah, okay, okay, now I remember. While I was trying to min max my Ganyu and my Ayaka artifacts, I got these artifacts. I wanted crit damage, but I ended up getting a lot of crit rate rolls, crit rate upgrades, and I've been keeping those artifacts since then. Turns out that they actually have a use now. <laughs> Alright. Constellation is C0, Talon 666. Okay, I just wanted to stress this. This is not a maximized Kokomi build. If I were to pull C6 Kokomi, I will be getting 699. Then the damage will be much better as well. So, anyway, I'll let you guys decide whether this is a build that you want to do. But my advice is that uh, it's quite costly to build. It's also very tough to. It's very tough to farm for starter for to begin with. If you like me, you have already you already have such artifacts lying around, then it's a viable option. Otherwise, I personally don't want to recommend people to go for her or go for her creep build. Actually, in fact, I don't even want to recommend people to go for her because as a healer, yes, she's good. As an enable support, yes, she's good. But. There are other characters that are already fulfilling that role right now in terms of enabler, in terms of heal. So she's really going to be a case where if you like her, you pull for her. It's a waifu factor, I would say. But I'll talk more about that in my compound guide. But essentially, this is how a crit rate Kokomi build will look like. One with 76.1% crit rate and 135.5% crit damage. Okay, and that was how her floor 12 performance was like. I, I have to be honest with you guys, majority of damage is coming from my other 3 characters. Although she did deal a decent amount of damage, like 9k on her hits and 9 to 12k on hits with crit, but yeah, that's about it. But I'll say this though, she really did enable the freeze to be very very consistent and very constant compared to Mona, mainly because her elemental skill is able to take he is able to do a reaction every tick, unlike Mona's. But it's a whole debate because Mona has Omen. So if you ask me, I'll say that if you have Mona, you don't need her. If you want to do your freeze, if you already have Mona for your freeze comp, you don't need her. This the only reason I'm putting her in the freeze comp here is because freeze comp allow us allows us to do a crit rate build. A realistic crit rate build. Because initially when I first did the live stream when I was testing Kokomi, the first thing I did was test crit rate. And I said that too much stats were sacrificed, right? I managed to look around my artifacts, I managed to tweak it a little, look at all the possible comps, and this is what I've came up with. So I leave it to you guys to decide. Is a crit rate build Kokomi worth building for? For reference, a R5 and Everlasting Moonglow with C6 does about 11k damage consistently on the normal attacks during burst. Mm. This is C0 with a R5 loss prayer. Mm. Technically speaking, half the cost. Okay, so anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you liked the content. And if you like the content, remember the video and click subscribe for more. Bye.